Welcome! Last week, if you remember, you learned all about Germany and Denmark. And this week, we have to travel far. So I want you to close your eyes. We're going to take three deep breaths in and blow it out. I want you to keep your eyes closed and imagine that you're on a plane. You could be sitting in your own seat or maybe you're sitting on somebody's lap. You might be playing with a toy or reading a book. You might be watching a show on a laptop. You might be having a snack or you might even be sleeping because this journey is very long. We are traveling far. I'm going to show you. This is a map of the world. Now last week, I said you learned about Denmark and Germany. Those two. Denmark's really small and Germany's right there. So we pitched our, pictured ourselves on our planes and we flew all the way across the lands and over water to boop, Australia. We are going to learn about Australia. Now if you notice, Australia is surrounded by water. There is no land attached to Australia. That makes it very special. I want to show you another picture. This is the Australian flag. The Australian flag is blue. It has a blue background. And in the corner, this is the Union Jack taken from the British. And down here is a star. This is called the Commonwealth Star. And all these stars over here kind of looks like you're out in space, right? All of these are the Southern Cross constellation. And it's made up of one, two, three, four, five stars. And all of the stars have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points, except for the smallest one. The smallest one has one, two, three, four, and five. Five points. So that is what the Australian flag looks like. Take you back over here. Now, in Australia, the most commonly used language is English. Most people speak English in Australia, but some things sound a little bit different. So I am going to tell you some words or phrases and see if you can guess what they are. The first word is good day. What do you think good day means? Good day means hello. That's how you would greet your friends or family, someone that you know really, really well. You'd say good day, or you'd say good day, mate. Uh, what is a dunny? A dunny is a toilet. How about a hard yakka? Hard yakka means hard work. You all learning from home are doing lots and lots of hard yakka. Lots and lots of hard work. What about heaps? Heaps means a lot, a lot, a lot. What about a sheila? A Sheila is me. 
I'm a Sheila. A Sheila is a woman. And what about a bloke? A bloke is a man. T. T is what they call their dinner. And what about hundreds and thousands? Hundreds and thousands is what they call their sprinkles. And she'll be apples. She'll be apples means everything is going to be all right. This week when um, you learn about Australia, you're going to be learning about all different kinds of animals. And I'm sure you know about kangaroos are in Australia and also koalas. Those are some of their uh, most well-known animals. But there's also something called a dingo. You'll learn about it this week. In Australia, they also have boomerangs and didger didgeridoos. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. You want to know something special about Australia? Australia is home to one of the seven wonders of the world. That's very, very special because in this whole big wide world, there's only seven wonders and Australia has one of them. So I'm going to show you a little video about the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Let me get it popped up here. interesting about the Great Barrier Reef? I thought it was. Now, 
we are going to do something special. Oh, it's kind of dark over here, huh? Let me come inside here. That might be better. There we go. Technology, huh? All right. There. Give me one second. Hold on. All right, I was touching things in my house and touching my laptop, but now we're gonna make something special. So I'm going to wash my hands. Always wanna wash your hands when you're preparing food to get all the germs off. Rub, rub, rub. All right, you know what? The Great Barrier Reef, I thought it was so interesting something that I didn't know until today was how the temperature of the sand determines the sex of sea turtles. Cool sand produces boy sea turtles and warm sand makes girl sea turtles. Hmm. So interesting. All right, let me move my stuff over here. So, in Australia, they make something that's very easy to make, and they usually have it for parties, for children's parties, and it is called fairy bread. Now, there is also a poem that you guys can watch at home by Robert Louis Stevenson, and your parents can find that video for you to see and hear the fairy bread poem. It was written a long, long time ago. People still eat fairy bread in Australia to this day. So what you need is a piece of white bread. I told you it's very simple. And some butter. I left mine out to get room temperature to make sure it's easy to spread on my bread so it doesn't mess it all up. And you'll also need something. In America, we call these sprinkles, but in Australia, they call them hundreds and thousands. Because look, there's hundreds and thousands of them in here. Too many, hundreds and thousands. So you need bread, butter, and hundreds of thousands. I'm going to just take my butter and I'm opening it up out of my package. Now, traditionally, I read when they make their fairy bread in Australia, they make their cuts into triangles. But when you're at home, you can either make it triangles or if you have cookie cutters you can use cookie cutters at home so all you do is cut your bread either in a triangle or again with your cookie cutters you're going to spread some of that butter on your bread you probably want to get it spread all over See, spread it, spread it, spread it. Now I'm gonna put some butter on the other side of the bread, the other triangle that I cut. All right, so I have my butter spread on my bread and I'm going to do two different kinds. So I have a spoon and I have this like bright neon pink and I'm going to use a spoon. Some of you might have a shaker. I happen to have containers so I'm going to sprinkle 
the hundreds and thousands on top of the butter to decorate your bread. So that was the neon pink. And on my other slice, I am going to use rainbow sprinkles. So you want to do the same thing. You just want to shake, shake, shake the sprinkles on top of the butter. Shake off the excess and there it is. Super simple, super easy, and super special fairy bread. Hmm. Thanks for joining me to learn about Australia. I'm going to say, hooroo, hooroo, that's how they say goodbye in Australia, hooroo.